Hello everybody, Brickavision here today and back from our video. Welcome back to Building Disneyland in LEGO Week 25. So this week I have made a bunch more progress on the Haunted Mansion and I can't wait to show you it. So let's get into it. So the first thing I did this week was I actually started building the perimeter for the second level of the Haunted Mansion. You can see that's how I did it there. It's just simple. It's a bunch of bricks. Now, I am running out of bricks. Uh, I have a few out on the table right here, and then I also just have some in here. I need one by uh, bricks, so. I have a bunch of two by and other random bricks, but yeah, so I'm going to have to make a brick link order on that, and you'll see that soon. So the next thing I wanted to discuss was the fact that I am building the little fencing that goes around the whole haunted mansion. Well, not the whole thing, but most of it. And you see, this is kind of like the prototype stage. And you see, this is what it looks like. So the fence pieces I'm using here, it's actually in dark gray. It's supposed to be in sand, but it's not even the style that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use a different kind. Anyways, uh, what I've done is I... It's prototype right there where I was pointing. Is that's where I'm gonna put uh, some tiles. They actually have studs in between there, and then I also put uh, jumper plates and then that stud of the hole, and that is so that this uh, fence piece I'm holding uh, will go inside of that. And I put a little minifigure hand in there. I'm gonna have to paint that too because it doesn't exist in sand green. Nor does the jumper plates or the stud of the hole. So, anyways, I put the minifigure hand in there. And I'm going to put a piece of flex tubing in there, which I'll have to get some more of that. And I'll just stick in there, and it'll work perfectly. So I can't wait to do that. That'll be fun. Fun little process. And then I need to put, like, on top of that, I'm going to be putting on a brick with two studs on each side. And then uh, some of those slow pieces, and it'll work perfectly. So I'm quite excited for this. I think it's going to look amazing. So I'm quite excited to put this together. Anyways, I'm going to have to do a brick link order for that as well. So the next thing I built was actually like the attic area. You can see this is what it looks like. It's just a simple little thing. And this is the next thing I put together. So you can see this is what it's looking like so far. And you can see just right off the bat, the coloration is completely off. It's just so off. And basically how I put it together, I, was, I used the hinge pieces. And that was quite simple. And it's sitting on the uh, base with all the sand green plates. And you can see that's kind of what it looks like inside. That'll be covered up by the roofing part, which I'll talk about in a second. You see, I just ripped those all out and so I can put that in. And I'll put tiles around it so it's all smoothed out. And that's what it looks like, basically. It's, it's a nice little thing. Inside the windows, I'm going to put, like, a black um, bricks, I think. And now I'm going to talk about how I'm going to put the roof together. It's just going to be a little difficult to do. So these are the basic pieces that I'm going to need to put the roof together. Okay, that's kind of weird. I, I need this rubber band piece and then the uh, one by one plate with like the stud on the side. I'm going to need those, all those pieces and also some studs. I, I didn't get those out. But anyways, what I'm going to do is if anybody remembers the original Hagrid's Hut set, I'm going to use kind of like, I, I got the inspiration from it to basically put this together. So I'm going to be using the the plate piece and the rubber band piece and basically I'm going to use paper which is going to it's kind of a legal building tiny almost but I'm going to put like a little hole for the paper and two holes for the paper so that way I can put the studs which will connect to the uh, uh, rubber band and then the uh, plate will go through that so I think it's going to work out well I'm actually excited for how I'm going to do this I think it's going to be a great thing and I'm just going to use black construction paper to do this. Uh, so, yeah. So, the next thing I went ahead to build was actually the base for the actual Haunted Mansion itself. Now, you might have thought that I probably should have already done this already, but I didn't. So, anyways, I just took four 32 by 32 base blades, stuck them together, and that was pretty much it. And then I also took the actual Haunted Mansion itself, I put plates around it, and just measured it out so I could go ahead and build the perimeter using these plate pieces and then another thing I did is I started building like the front staircase and you see that there and there it is on the actual haunted mansion for my reference picture and then I also did like a little bit of the brick wall here for like the graveyard kind of the graveyard but not here the specific spot so anyways that is it for this little part that I did 
So this next thing I kind of put together is to do with the fence again. So this is basically my prototype structure of the fence I showed earlier. Except what I did here was I just wanted to mention the fact that this little wall part here is seven bricks high, just about seven bricks high. And I figured I could use that to actually put on the little fence part that goes up. So it works, and that is how I'm doing that. So for every time it runs into a wall, I can just use that, and it would be much easier. So the next thing I started doing was actually just on the base plate again. So what I, you can see here, I, I kind of just add some plates, but the main thing I did was I just raised it. You see also right here, I was working on the little flower bud. I, I just put that back on a piece there. I don't think it exists in dark red. But you can see I just raised it, I used those bricks, and I started putting plates over it. So it's very simple, I'm just going to continue doing that. But that is going to have to do for next week. Well, guys, that is it for this week of building Disneyland and Lego. I'll see you guys next time on Brick Vision. Keep on building. Bye.